Turn back the river. Ow. I never know how close you want to be. So how close you want to be? You probably don't want to be any closer. So hey peeps, today I wanted to just film. I have literally just got back out from a restaurant with my sister because she celebrated her final year at uni and it's late at night and I just wanted to sit and talk. Like, there isn't any plan. Well, there is a kind of plan. I know what I want to talk about. I haven't really done many videos for a while and I'm just sitting and talking about my views and opinions. And funnily enough, even though I haven't done that in a while, that's what I want to do a lot more on YouTube, but I feel like I just don't do it because I get bombarded with so many other ideas and then I just lose what I actually want to do, which is silly because you should just do what you want to do before anything else. Today, I wanted to speak about friendships and friends and people that come in your life do good things and make good memories and then either leave or stick around for a little while longer this is definitely something which has been on my mind quite a lot and I've been speaking to people about it usually just rants and just frustration conversations where you just want to tell them all this and then they kind of listen to you like yeah 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 but they don't actually realize the bits underneath like how it actually affects me and stuff but to you guys, I feel like I can, I can say this because you want to hear it, I guess, if you clicked on this video. I personally think I've had a lot of, I've dealt quite... <sighs> I struggle quite a lot when it comes to friendships and friends and meeting people and having them in my life for a long periods of time because I just basically I struggle a lot anyway when it comes to social interaction because of having so much anxiety and things like that that associate to trying to build new friends and that because it constantly gets in the way a difficult thing to deal with and a lot of people don't realize it so they end up stop being your friend and they think it's just because you didn't want to make any effort anymore or they think it's just because you don't care and they think that you aren't worth their time when really I feel like the people who work and struggle the most with trying to be like a normal friend whilst having something like anxiety or something like a mental condition that gets in the way is more worthwhile being friends with because they are working extra hard for you and I feel like this is something I want to talk about because some of you guys might relate. So working with friendships and being around people and socialising is a little extra difficult to me. I mean I have so many friends, I have a lot, I am blessed to have the amount of friends I do. <laughs> I have groups of different types of people that would be there if I need them. They would come see me, they would come talk to me, and that's something which maybe someone else might not have, but I should appreciate the fact that I do have that, and I really do appreciate that. But sometimes I find it difficult to just be close with an individual, a friend who I can go to all the time. Like I, I always just seem to have a different person every time or somebody who just pops in and out because I need them or wants to see me and then never sees me again. I mean, I've never really opened up to someone other than my sister, other than relationships I've been in the past. I mean, I've opened up to Kyle, who's my boyfriend now, and obviously a past relationship, but he turned out to be a I don't usually use that word, but he is the only thing on this earth that should be used with it. And I do have a best friend, and you've probably seen her in some old videos and that. We don't see each other as much as we used to, and I still love her to pieces, and we're both like busy doing our own stuff, but I kind of feel like I want someone who is more like myself. I mean, me and my best friend are so different and that's why I love her because like we are so different yet we get along and that's a blessing in itself. I just find it really hard to interact with people, especially people who I know that I am so much like because I try too hard or I get too weird and I can't come across as a normal person because I know that deep down I'm trying really hard to just be really close to them and then that usually drives them away. I'm just bad with things like this. I don't know what it is. So I used to hate school not because of the teachers not because of the education not because of the lessons but because of the people the people at school pissed me off it was full of friendship groups that i hated cliques people that thought they were better than everyone else that i wanted to punch across the 
face. That just goes to show how much friendship groups and friendships and people and friends and relationships affect me because they literally mean everything to me. I am a Cancer, which is my star sign, meaning that that is really important to me. Family and friends before everything is basically my star sign. And that's what it, what it affects me a lot, why I feel like, why am I struggling with being close to people? Even though I want to be, I drive myself away from them. I feel like I'm getting a close, a close to someone and then I want to be on my own and I want to be isolated. And I was like that at school a lot. I mean, I had a, a close friendship group at school, which I thought I'd be friends with forever, but apparently not. They decided not to be friends with me anymore. <laughs> well, the majority of them. But even then at school, I wanted to be on my own quite a lot. They wanted to come see me and I'd be like, yeah, no, I just want to sit and just do something on my own. I wouldn't want to just sit there and do nothing. I'd still do something, but just on my own or with my family. And I've just always been like that, basically. And I'm still like it now. And then when it comes to YouTube, there I sometimes I feel like YouTube is like school. It's like being back at school. It really is. I've just come out of school and I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now, but it feels like sometimes I'm like, why am I doing this? Because YouTube really does feel like I'm back at school. It honestly does sometimes feel like I'm really putting it on from, I'm really doing bad for myself because I'm just putting myself in the same, same situation as I was back in school. And I'm like, should I really do this? Because I don't know how many of you are YouTubers. I don't know how many of you understand what I mean, but Sometimes you can just get ignored just like you were at school when you when you're not big enough like I don't care about audience or well I care about my audience but I don't care about numbers I don't care about subscribers view, viewership I don't give a shit like so many people I talk to my friends about YouTubers and stuff and they're like oh how big are they or are you sure you want to make a video of them because they might feed off you which is fine they're trying to be nice and stuff but there are so many more things to think about than people's audience on YouTube and stuff like that and people on YouTube do because it's their job it's their business it's what helps their channel going why waste your time collaborating with someone who's not going to do anything for you that is also when it comes to clicks what it's like because you can't interact with that person because that person is interacting with this person who's big and ooh and then you're kind of like oh okay I'll just stay with my little group here shall I until I get bigger and you let me into that group it's pathetic it's lame I wish it wasn't like that but it is. I don't know how many of you understand that. I just keep myself to myself, which is probably why you don't see a lot of collaborations on my channel. If I am making one, it's with people who don't see that bullshit and don't understand it. It's people like-minded to me, and that's the sort of people I like and hang out with and know on YouTube, the ones who I I can see crap like that from a mile off. If I can sense it, I'm like, see, I could buy it out the door. Sometimes I feel like that is the case when it comes to YouTube as well. I may just be being thinking too much. I should just be friends with people who I feel like I get along with and that's it. But <sighs> maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I just not very good as a friend. I mean, I have one best friend and we never argue. She seems to think I'm an all right friend, but it makes me think like, am I doing something wrong? I kind of just drive people away. I don't understand what it is. I don't understand why it is. It's probably my fault and maybe it is. I do try hard and I like do try connecting with people in a way that could potentially be a good friendship but it kind of fails. Well it does fail. I don't know if any of you relate to this and it's kind of a depressing video but I want to talk about it because maybe just maybe somebody else in the same situation with the same feelings will watch this video and be like Finally someone gets me. Like I recently had an incident with this like a friend of mine like switched me off like she was like bye and then wanted to leave my life basically and, and insisted that we were just going our different ways now and that like really like struck me because someone else had already said that to me in my life before and that was the beginning of like a really hard time for me because I didn't see the like I didn't see that. It was kind of out the blue. So it was kind of like, why do people always seem to think that I am going in a different path to them? Like, what if I want to do my path with yours? I'm getting emotional. Because it just, it, it kind of feels shit. Like, people just to be like, I'm going to go and 
the fact you're not gonna be with me isn't gonna affect me. It really hurts. Especially when, like I said earlier, things like, things like friendships mean so much to me. I can go out with a small group of friends who really associate me in the group and like let me take part in the group and enjoy us, myself and stuff. I can go out with them and I come back feeling amazing and like I really enjoyed it and I think about it a lot and I look back at the pictures and stuff whereas someone else in the group might be like oh yeah that's just something that happened I do that every day but it means more to me and then friends seem to think that it didn't mean anything or that it, I didn't really try hard enough um, I'm getting a little emotional because I also got a little personal there and started talking about this particular situation <laughs> When I was little, I used to have an imaginary friend. I used to have several imaginary friends. And I used to pretend that we had the same interests and that we always spoke the same and like did the same things and had the same stuff and said the same things. And I always wanted that as a kid and I was like excited to have that when maybe I was growing up. But only because I knew as a kid that I find opening up really difficult. So I thought in my head, what if I had someone that I could open up with? I know I find it difficult to open up with, but imagine if I had someone I could open up with. That would be cool. And then it's always, I've always thought to myself, well, you can if you actually do it. Like if someone says, oh, I wish I had this. Well, you can, but because you don't do it, you don't have that. I just feel like it's a constant circle. I mean, how many times is this gonna happen in my life? I don't know, I'm talking out loud. Let me know what your thoughts are on this because I'm probably the only one in the world who gets like this. Actually, honestly, I can already hear the comments right now. Like sometimes when I ask for comments, I just already hear them running in my head. It's probably most of you saying, Ellie, people grow up, people grow old, people grow old people, people move on, people do other things, people don't need people that they used to anymore. People enter their lives for a reason and then they do that thing they were gonna do. And I believe everything happens for a reason. I believe we meet people for a reason. I believe we do things for a reason. That just makes me feel like what is the point? If people are eventually going to grow up and old and out of me and just think I'm an old toy that they don't need anymore, that gives me the least amount of motivation I need to build more friendships because I'm like, what is this working towards? What is the point? <laughs> Cause I don't necessarily grow older people, to be honest. I still love them as much as I used to and, and sometimes the most least expected people are the ones that stick around. Why is that? What's the meaning of that? I have a best friend now who I would not have expected to be in my life still at all, in the slightest, no way Jose. I met them like with somebody who I thought would be around even longer and they've ended up just like being such a good person to me and a good friend and a good companion and it's just like how am I supposed to know who are the people that deserve my hard work and effort and attention. Friendships are so stressful. That's all for now. I'm gonna go because it's getting late and I'm just waffling and this probably won't even make my channel because it was shit. I am still happy though. I just want to end this video on a positive note because I am still happy. I do still choose happiness. I do love the friends I have. I do appreciate the relationships I have with both my friends and family, but sometimes it can be a little bit stressful. Do appreciate the people you do have close with you because you may have problems with your other friends. You may have arguments, you may have issues, situations here and there that do make you wonder what is the point. Because of them, you can appreciate the good ones, the, the diamonds in the rust. Insignificant people to others, but diamonds to you, you can appreciate them. It truly makes you see what they are as a person. If every one of your friends were amazing and, and, and outstanding, then you wouldn't see the person who's been with you from day one as amazing as they are because you just think everyone's like that. Do appreciate them and understand why you do have some shit people in your life. That is all I'm going to say to you and I'm going to try and listen to my own advice maybe. Thank you for watching and listening to me ramble on. Do make sure you subscribe and you can be notified every time I make a new video. My videos are usually a little bit more happy than this and on my social networking sites are down there and my cleavage in the description box below. I usually talk about things like this in that. So that's a little bit more exciting. Thank you you guys if you'd like me to do something like this again just a little rant slash chat then hit me up and we'll get on the floor again all personal on my bedroom floor bye guys <laughs>
Uh, sorry, that was gross. Choose happiness. Four. Here we go. And this time I'm just gonna take that and then you just plop it on. Ah, oh, it's cool that I did the um, white in the background because now it looks funky fresh. So then you just get a nail filer and then you file off the the bit here, really. That's what I do anyway. And then Bob is your freaking uncle, although mine's Jim. That 